so hello guys click on task one and then open the script.google.com now enter the username and password listed on the lab instructions so for that click on sign in now enter the email and now enter the password now you have to click on i understand and then now click on here copy the code first click on start here case here shows to create a project click on create project now you need to remove the existing code and then add the code from the lab instructor and this one and now you have to run the query so for that rename the file so code.js rename it now for query you need to run it so first of all enable the bigquery api from here services section then click on save wait for the file to get saved let me check if there is anything we need to add so as i can see there is nothing to add so now just click on run then we will be asked to review permissions and then select the lab account which you used for signing in now select all and then click on continue now the query will be run so as you can see need to wait for some time as you can see the sheet has been created now we will get a score without any to issue open the sheet in incognito window just like we opened the app script one so now we have to click on blank spreadsheet now wait for the sheet to fully load now click on data then scroll down a bit wait click on data scroll down a bit data connectors and then connect to bigquery click on get connected now from here select the project id click on public data set and we have to use chicago taxi tray so enter the name as you can see here are two we have to choose the chicago taxi trips and then select taxi trips so click and then click on connect now for this task i have shared the github repo in the description do check it out now close it so for this lab you need to be careful so for function select count unique and then click on create new spreadsheet will open so here for first copy here replace it and update now for second one copy here click on apply for third copy it now you need to apply for all click on apply by selecting each and everyone so as you can see we got the output now let's set check my progress so as you can see we got the score now we will create sheet i mean chart so for that go back to the same sheet by mistake i clicked on back so here you can open like this in case you do mistakes so now by opening the sheet get back to the taxi trip section as you can see just click on the taxi trips you will be redirected there so now we have to create chart so for that click on got it now for chart you need to click on chart then click on chart then wait for some time click on new chart a new sheet i mean so here we have to create pie and line chart so as you can see here are the steps if you want you can read here but let me show you how to do it so for this you need to select pie chart for label you need to select wait a minute click on this again so now for label we have to drag payment type and value field will be fair so trip here is the payment type so drag it using your mouse 
and fair will be in the value field so we need to change the value from sum to count so click on sum and change it to count then click on apply so click on sum count and apply meanwhile if you haven't liked the video like it and subscribe the channel so that i can make more such amazing content for you because other people are just posting solutions but no one is describing how you will do each step properly and in the end you face unnecessary error so let's see now we have to create a line chart so we will be creating a line chart now so go back to the taxi trips then click on chart then click on create now from chart you have to wait from here chart type select line now for x axis trip start time stamp it will be there so here is the scroll up trip start time stamp group by it will be year and month so when you click group by it will be year and month for series it will be fair fair series so now for filter filter you need to add payment type just click on filter payment type where is the payment type here now here we have to select text contains and then enter mobile m o b i l e so now once you're done now you have to click on okay then apply and finally we are done with the task let's it check my progress so as you can see we got a score without any issue and last task is very easy guys just click on this button to enter a new sheet or you can just try entering sheets dot new so just click on blank spreadsheet and enter the address on a shell so just enter the address on a shell so guys wait for it to save so finally guys we will get a score without any issue in case you haven't liked the channel like the channel and the video and do subscribe the video too thank you guys and i will see you guys in the next tutorial the playlist is active now do check